welcome to Strange Historical Tales. Today we journey into the icy waters of the Arctic to uncover the tragic fate of the Franklin Expedition. Tasked with charting the elusive Northwest Passage, the expedition set sail with high hopes and advanced technology, only to vanish without a trace. For over a century, the disappearance of the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror, along with all 129 crew members, remained one of history's greatest maritime mysteries. That is, until recent discoveries brought new light to this chilling tale. In 1845, the British Admiralty launched an ambitious expedition under the command of Sir John Franklin. Two ships, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, were outfitted with the latest innovations, including reinforced hulls and steam engines. With provisions for three years, the expedition aimed to map the final uncharted sections of the Northwest Passage. After departing from England and making a final stop in Greenland, the ships were last seen in late July 1845 as they entered Baffin Bay, heading into the labyrinth of Arctic ice. For months, no word was heard from the Franklin Expedition. It wasn't until much later that the tragic sequence of events began to emerge. The ships had become icebound off of King William Island. Trapped in the unforgiving Arctic ice pack, the crew faced brutal conditions, dwindling supplies, and the onset of scurvy and other illnesses. By 1848, both ships were abandoned. The crew attempted to march south in search of rescue but succumbed to the harsh environment one by one. Early signs of the tragedy were discovered in the form of graves on Beachy Island, a poignant testimony to the struggle for survival. The search for the Franklin expedition began almost immediately after their last sighting in 1845. Over the next few decades, numerous expeditions were launched by the British Admiralty, American explorers, and private individuals. These searches yielded tantalizing but grim discoveries. The graves of the crew members on Beachy Island, abandoned campsites, and scattered relics. In 1854, Dr. John Ray, an explorer working for the Hudson's Bay Company, encountered Inuit who had come across the remnants of the expedition. Ray's report, which included accounts of cannibalism among the desperate crew, shocked Victorian society and tarnished Franklin's heroic image. Despite initial disbelief and outrage, subsequent findings supported Ray's account, confirming the crew's dire straits. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, further expeditions uncovered more evidence, including a significant find in 1859 by Francis Leopold McClintock. He discovered a cairn on King William Island containing a message confirming the deaths of Franklin and other officers and revealing that the ships had been abandoned in April 1848 after being icebound for nearly two years. Interest in the Franklin expedition persisted into the modern era, with historians, archaeologists, and adventurers continuing to seek answers. In 2014, Parks Canada made a groundbreaking discovery when they located the wreck of the HMS Erebus in the shallow waters of Queen Maud Gulf. Two years later, HMS Terror was found in Terror Bay, remarkably well preserved. These discoveries have provided new insights into the final days of the expedition. Artifacts and ship logs recovered from the wrecks have shed light on the crew's struggle for survival, their attempts to trek overland to safety, and the extreme conditions they endured. However, many questions remain unanswered, fueling ongoing fascination and speculation about this tragic chapter in Arctic history. The Franklin Expedition has left an indelible mark on history and culture, transcending its initial aim of discovering the Northwest Passage. The mystery of the crew's disappearance captivated public imagination, inspiring countless books, articles, and documentaries. The expedition's tragic end and the subsequent search efforts symbolized both the peril and allure of Arctic exploration. In literature, the Franklin expedition has been referenced and reimagined in various works, from Wilkie Collins' The Frozen Deep to Dan Simmons' novel The Terror, which blends historical fiction with supernatural elements. These narratives have kept the story alive, introducing new generations to the saga of the Erebus and the Terror. The discoveries of the wrecks in 2014 and 2016 reignited interest in the expedition, leading to renewed scientific and historical inquiry. Parks Canada and other organizations have undertaken extensive research projects to study the wrecks and their contents, aiming to piece together the final moments of the crew. These efforts have provided valuable insights into 19th century naval technology, survival strategies in extreme conditions, 
and the interactions between European explorers and indigenous peoples. Today, the Franklin Expedition continues to be a subject of fascination and study, symbolizing the enduring human spirit and the relentless quest to unravel the mysteries of our past. The Franklin Expedition remains one of the most poignant and haunting tales of exploration. The bravery, the suffering, and the ultimate sacrifice of the crew are etched into the annals of history. As we continue to uncover more about their journey, we are reminded of the human spirit's resilience and the relentless drive to explore the unknown. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Strange Historical Tales. If you enjoyed this journey into the past, please like, comment, and subscribe for more intriguing tales. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of history.